Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the top 5 most common computer problems and how you can solve them easily at home. Let's face it, almost everyone who uses a computer for any length of time runs into weird issues, annoying glitches, and sometimes catastrophic crashes. Don't worry though, you don't have to be a tech wizard to fix these. We're going to walk through these problems together and I'll give you the tools to become your own PC doctor. All right, first up, the classic, a slow computer. It's like watching paint dry, right? Before you chuck it out the window, let's try a few things. Number one, when was the last time you gave your hard drive a good cleaning? No, not with Windex, I mean digitally. Run your disk cleanup tool to get rid of temporary files and old downloads taking up space. Next up, defragmentation. If you think of your hard drive like a filing cabinet, defragging is like reorganizing all the files so they're easier to find. You wouldn't believe how much this can speed things up. And hey, While you're at it, how much RAM do you have? If you're constantly running demanding programs with limited RAM, it's like trying to run a marathon with one shoe on. Consider upgrading your RAM for a serious performance boost. Ah, the dreaded blue screen of death. Nothing strikes fear into the heart of a PC user like that sudden crash and cryptic error message. But don't panic just yet. Often the culprit is outdated or corrupted drivers. Think of drivers as translators between your hardware and software. If they're speaking gibberish, your whole system crashes. Head to your manufacturer's website and grab the latest drivers for your motherboard, graphics card, and other Also, while we're talking about potential problems, let's not forget about viruses and malware. It's like having a gremlin messing with your computer's insides. A good antivirus software is a must-have, folks. We've all been there, you're trying to stream the latest episode of your favorite show and BAM! The spinning wheel of doom. Before you throw your router out the window, let's try a few things. First, the classic turn it off and on again. Seriously, sometimes that's all it takes to reset your connection. If that doesn't work, check your cables. Is everything plugged in nice and snug? You'd be surprised how often a loose cable is the culprit. And don't forget to check for service outages with your internet provider. Sometimes it's not you, it's them. We've all been there. You hit print on that important document and nothing. The printer just sits there, mocking you. Well, I'm here to tell you it doesn't have to be a one-sided hate relationship. First things first, is it actually plugged in and turned on? Yes, I'm serious. We've all been there. Next, check the connection. Is the USB cable securely plugged in? Are you connected to the right Wi-Fi network? Once you're sure everything is connected, try reinstalling the printer driver. Remember what we said earlier about drivers? Yeah, those guys are important. Okay, so your keyboard's typing gibberish, your mouse is moving on its own, or your headphones sound like a robot having a seizure. Weird peripherals acting up can be super frustrating. First, check the obvious. Is there any visible damage to the cable or the device itself? If everything looks okay physically, it's probably a driver issue. Just like with your printer, sometimes you just need to reinstall the driver to get things back on track. And hey, if you're using wireless peripherals, make sure the batteries aren't dead. It happens to the best of us. So, there you have it, the top 5 most common computer problems and how to fix them, like a pro. Remember, you don't need to be a tech wizard to keep your PC running smoothly. With a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of patience, you can troubleshoot these problems yourself and save yourself a lot of headaches, and maybe even some cash. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have any questions or additional tips. What other tech mysteries should we unravel next? Let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.